And now the Federal Capital Territory Command of the Federal Road Safety Corps will start impounding vehicles of traffic defaulters and subject them to psychological tests. FCT Sector Commander of the Federal Road Safety Corps broke the news on Chief's Day in Abuja during a press briefing for the launch of the hashtag Stop at Red campaign. He stressed the need for all Nigerians to be committed to obeying national traffic regulations. A correspondent, Amina Jibril, reports. Some Nigerian citizens are notorious for their lack of discipline, decorum and order on the country's roads. Road users are especially guilty of flouting traffic rules and disobeying traffic light at will. This is the reason for the hashtag Stop at Red campaign, which is aimed at ensuring a safer road. Despite past sanctions, over 7,000 persons have been nabbed and made to undergo psychological evaluation. But FCT sector commander of the FRSC is emphatic that if citizens are caught disobeying the traffic rules, they will face stringent sanctions. You are arrested for beating traffic lights. First of all, you'll be issued a ticket. Secondly, your vehicle will be impounded. Whether you have what it takes to confiscate, we will not confiscate anything from you. We impound your vehicle. Thirdly, having paid your fine, you must go to the hospital for a psychological emotional evaluation. Disobedience to traffic signs and signals is a menace that must be contained. We must therefore be committed to the provision of our national road traffic regulation 2016. Nigerians must be patriotic and imbibe morality and integrity and in service to the nation. In the same vein, it is the duty of government to ensure that law enforcement agencies are well equipped and functional. If we want a better country, if we want a better future for our children, if we want to be able to transfer a different legacy, we must on our own have order in our lives. This campaign is hoped to build a national ideology and ignite the power to work out a moral change without waiting on the government. From Abuja, Amina Jibril, STV News.